Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and this is how to create a Wolfenstein 3D FPS clone in Unity and welcome to episode 17. In this tutorial we are going to allow our enemy to actually hurt us so we're going to take some damage and that's going to affect our on-screen UI as well. Don't forget click the subscribe button and click the bell icon as well to stay up to date with every tutorial still to come in this series and indeed everything about game development on my channel and if you've enjoyed this series so far please feel free to check out my Patreon or YouTube memberships where you'll earn things like early access, exclusive content, project files, and so much more. With that in mind, let's get to work. So up until now, everything is working as intended. We get through the door, our enemy spots us, and he starts shooting. But he shoots infinitely, and he doesn't actually hurt us. So this is where we need to create a little bit more code which will allow us to be hurt and lose, let's say, 5% health each time. Obviously, that percentage of health could change. It's entirely up to you uh, what percentage you want to lose. So if you remember, with our actual um, enemy himself, he has uh, a script on him which allows him to basically shoot at us. Uh, so I'm going to go on to the Soldier AI script. And this is going to be the script which we uh, modify just a little bit because we have to reference the other script as well. So if you remember what we did with the ammunition, we picked up the ammo and we changed it in a separate script. And that allowed us to see on screen what was happening. So the same principle is going to happen here. However, we need to go just that one step further to say uh, in this instance we're going to get just a game over screen but eventually we'll um, get to the point of losing lives and restarting and all that kind of stuff so for now we just need to get uh, to the game over screen because obviously that just proves the fact that we are losing health and getting well in this case game over so when the script has eventually loaded in visual studio i swear this gets slower every single time um, we need to reference the global health script that we dealt with last time. If you remember, uh, the global health script has a static variable, which is health value. So we need to deduct 5%, which in this case would actually be 5, from the health value. So in Soldier AI, what we do, find the bit. So we've got is firing, play animation, do that, uh, wait for seconds, fire rate, just before we change the fire rate, what we need to do, is, or rather wait, I should say, not change the fire rate, is place here global health dot health value minus equals five, semicolon, and save. So like I said, the key to this is being able to get, for example, to a game over screen. So we need to actually create that game over screen. What will happen here is, we. As the enemy fires, he will take away our health. Well, that's not good enough because it just means that when we get to zero health, we'll go to minus five, minus ten, and um, whatever else. So there you go. You can see our health going down. So I'm going to let it get to zero just to show you what will happen. Because we need to step in at that line of code and say, oh, wait, we need to get game over. And that it would happen there. But as you can see, we're going into negatives, which is what I expected to happen at that point anyway. So to get around that, let's save that scene. And then let's go to file and new scene. So this new scene is going to be the scene we actually kind of uh, end up what I call recycling. Uh, um, recycling is just basically coming to another scene to reload the original scene. It's a cool, neat little trick to kind of instantly reload the level you were on. Uh, but for now, this is just going to be the game over screen. So file and save as. And we'll save this uh, in our scenes folder. And we'll call this, well, like I said, it is going to be the recycle scene. But we're going to have it as game over just for now. So we'll call it level recycle. Now, we need to add this in the build settings, but we also need to add the original scene. However, these will change as we get further into development. So whatever we set now, just be prepared to change very slightly later on in the series. But for now, let's just quickly create a little game over screen. So I'm just going to have a black screen with words in the middle that say game over. So UI and let's go raw image and let's have that raw image set as black. 
And then let's change it to anchor as a stretch on both vertical and horizontal. Zero out the position so it does cover the entire screen, as we can see. Uh, let's rename this as black screen. And then game object, UI and text. And let's have that in the center of the screen. Just saying game over. But let's also add a little font on there because, you know, why not? It's, well, it's your game. You can do anything you want with it, really. Uh, probably best to increase the font size as well, I think. It's a little bit too small. So I'm going to have 40. Uh, which one should we have? Let's have the Bradley gratis one. Just so it kind of fits in with the rest of the UI of the game. So now I'm just going to center it in the middle of the screen. So if we press play, this is what we will see when we get down to zero health. So let's save that scene and then let's go to file and let's go to build settings. And we need to remove the sample scene. Well, actually, no, do you know what? We could probably keep it because we could use it as a little bit of a placeholder because obviously we're going to have a main menu and stuff like that. So let's use that as a placeholder for now. And let's click Add Open Scene. So it adds the level recycle as scene number one. Obviously, that sample scene will be scene number zero. Uh, let's also add the other scene. Uh, we don't have to actually load it. We could actually drag and drop it there. So let's go into Scenes. Let's go back into our build settings. And then we can drag and drop level zero, zero, one right there. So you can drag and drop as many scenes as you want into here. You don't have to go into the scene and then click add open scenes. Just a neat little trick. So what we need to do now is let's head back to level 001 and we need to modify the global health script. We need to add in the namespace using unity engine dot scene management. The reason we're adding that in is simply because we are using scene management. <laughs> I mean, it couldn't be more simple than that, could it? Because we need to change to a different scene when the condition that we have zero health is met. So that means down here in void update, if, and in brackets, health value is equal to zero. In fact, just to be careful, let's have less than or equal to zero just in case because i guess we could have one health and then someone takes five health off us so then we'd be into a negative so we need to make sure that we do cover ourselves there by saying less than zero so if health value is less than or equal to zero then we get scene manager to load scene and then the number of the scene which is going to be that game over screen or the recycle screen and it should be one if I recall correctly it is so that number there is what we place here close bracket semicolon and save so press play now our enemy should be able to hurt us as we've seen but he should also be able to actually kill us so let's go through the door there we go he starts shooting Keep going, keep going. Tell you what, let's run away. There we go. Now I do believe I've just found a bug there. I don't know whether you guys noticed it. If we turn away, he stops shooting. So we'll fix that bug at the end of this tutorial. Yep, okay, still going. All right, there we go. He's killed us, perfect. So that little bug there with the soldier shooting when we turn around. Let's fix that. So let's zoom into our soldier. So it does seem that the FPS controller itself, whenever we turn around, he seems to stop shooting at us. Now, I wonder why. Is it because our controller is not right? So we are the player. Let's establish at what point he shoots or stops shooting. I suspect we may need to increase the collider on our character. Okay, that's interesting. So we stop shooting us now. So let's let's see if we can work this out. Um, let's increase the radius. There we go. Got it. Perfect. 
So we just need to increase the radius ever so slightly on the character controller right there. So let's increase it to 0.75. And let's press play. And let's just make sure all the mechanics still work out. So we've got our bullets, got our handgun. We can still shoot. Okay. Okay. So he's not doing it there now. Okay, let's increase to 0.8. I think we have it. Nope, not quite. Let's increase it to full one. Okay. Seems to be okay. It <laughs> seems to be okay. Uh, it's just a case of, it looks like something may be blocking it one way or another. Um, let's let's quickly go through the... Let's go, I'm going to turn the audio off. And just see if... No, I didn't think it would be. So, let's set our FPS controller to 1 on the radius. I may also change the height to about 1.9. In fact, should we change it to 2? Let's change it to 2, just to be on the safe side. And now, fingers crossed. Yep. He's shooting at us. Perfect. And there's that bug. <laughs> Fixed. So, guys, next tutorial, what we're going to do is we are going to work with our recycling scene to uh, lose a life. So we're going to add lives to it. Uh, we'll probably add in some sound effects like uh, uh, ow, or whatever, and probably add in a red flash as well to obviously symbolize that we've been hit and we could possibly be bleeding. So that is all in the next tutorial. So until then, guys, thank you very much for watching.